Ligament is the outermost covering of animal body, the skin and its derivatives. The skin of all vertebrates are multicellular and has two layers, one. An outer epidermis developed from ectoderm and two. An inner dermis derived from the mesoderm. The specialized derivatives of integuments in vertebrates are formed from these two. Hence, depending upon the layer of skin from which they are derived, they are epidermal and dermal derivatives. Scales, nails, claws, hoof, feather, hairs, horns etc. are epidermal derivatives and dermal derivatives include scale, shields, bones etc. We are majorly focusing on the integumentary structures in vertebrates such as scales, feathers and hairs, nails, claws, horns and antler. Epidermal derivatives. Epidermal derivatives are specializations of the integument from the epidermis. They are mainly includes scales, nails, claws, hook, feather, hair, horns, etc. Epidermal scales. Epidermal scales are present in amniotes. In lizards and snakes, they are overlapping, while in crocodiles and turtles, they are arranged edge to edge. Their scales are not same for all these creatures. The scales of turtles are modified as thick scutes. The scales of lizards and snakes are thin and flat. In some lizards, some scales are modified into spines, e.g., a horned lizard. In rattlesnakes, there is a rattle at the tip of the tail, that is made of 8 to 12 sing shaped scales, they are used as a replacement for hissing in other snakes. The scales on the limbs of crocodiles are small and heavily conified. In birds, scales are only seen on the feet and toes. In case of aquatic birds like ducks, they may present on the web also. Tarsal spur of male fowls is a modified scale. In mammals, conified epithelial cells are present on the legs and tail of beavers. The thick scales of pangolins are in fact fused hairs. In armadillos, large scales fuse to form plates around the body. Claws, hoofs and nails. Even though claws, hoofs and nails are entirely different in appearance from each other, all of them are the modifications of stratum conium at the distal ends of digits. Claws and found in reptiles, e.g., chameleon, birds, e.g., eagle and mammals, e.g., lion, whereas nails and hoofs are found only in human and mammals, like cows respectively, each of them have has two curved plates, a harder horny dorsal plate called ungus, and a less hard, ventral plate, called subungus. These two plates remain partially wrapped around the terminal phalanx. Claws evolve into nails in primates and into hoofs in ungulates, animals including mammals with hoofs. Their structures grow from proliferating matrix cell and from the subungus in hoof. There is a pad just behind the subungus called cuneus. In claws, angus and subungus are terminally pointed. Claws are retractile in cats. In nails, lingus is flat and subungus is much reduced hence nails covers only the dorsal surface of the digits. If permitted to grow, nails become claw-like. In hoofs angus is thick and carved around the end of the digits and subungus located behind and below it. Feathers. Feather are the unique attribute of birds and they represent modified reptilian scales. They are formed from the basal layer or epidermis. There are several kinds of feathers such as quill feathers or penny, clown feather or plumules and philip looms or hair feather. Hairs. Hair is found only in mammals. During embryonic stage, the body of all mammals is covered with a coat of fine hairs called lanugo, which is usually shed before birth. In adult mammals, the extent and distribution of hair on body vary considerably. Each hair is fixed in a dermal pit called hair follicle. The basal part buried in the pit is called hair root and the part projecting out of the pit is called hair shaft which is made of dead and keratinized cells. The distal end of root enlarges to hair bulb. The growth of the hair is limited to the a hair root. It occurs by the continuous division of the cells of the stratum basali. Hair papilla supplies nutrients for growth of the hair. The hair shaft is covered with cuticle, made up of transparent, overlapping and non-nucleated cells. Inner to cuticle is a cortex of conified pigmented cells. The central core is the medulla, made of shrunken conified cells and air spaces. Horns. Horns are conified outgrowth of the skin on the head of ungulate. It is composed of keratin. The horns play a major role in fight between male species, social recognition, sexual display. They are also organs of offense and defense. Egg, deers, antelopes, giraffes etc. There are different types of horns. They are a. Hollow true horns. Hollow horns are true horns found in members of family Bovidae, cows, buffaloes, sheep etc. They are generally present in both sexes. Hollow horns are cylindrical, unbranched and terminally tapering. They have a dense core of dermal bone called bony horn covered by a hollow sheath of epidermal keratinous hair. Their permanent structures. They keep growing throughout their life and are never shed. Antlers. Antlers are solid and branching annual outgrowths of dense connective tissue. They are basally connected to the frontal bone of cranium. Due to deposition of calcium salts, they are hard and strong, mainly found in the deer family. With an exception of reindeer and for caribou, they are present only in males. 
During growth, antlers are covered in a hairy the growth and vascular shin called velvet. Velvet would be shed when antler reaches full growth, exposing bony antlers. Antlers are also shed annually, after breeding season. Antler formation is controlled by male sex hormones and anterior pituitary hormones. Antlers and hollow horns differ from each other. The antlers and hollow horns differ from each other by these main features. Hollow horns are unbranched and hollow whereas antlers are branched and solid. Hollow horns are covered by a sheath of keratin but antlers are covered by velvet. Hollow horns are not shed annually, but antlers are shed annually. Dermal Derivatives Specialization of the integument include the derivatives from dermals. They include scales, shields, bones etc. The dermal derivatives in vertebrate include scales and armors, such as dermal bones. Dermal scales. They are the scale of fishes which have mesodermal origin. They include cosmoid, ganoid, placoid, cycloid, and tenoid scales. Vestigial dermal scales are seen in some sea and some toads also. In some fishes, the dermal scales are coated by a hard enamel like substance, called vitrodentine. It is of ectodermal origin. Both epidermal and dermal scale prevent damage to the soft tissues beneath, forms a barrier against pathogens and prevents water loss from the body and also form a storehouse of calcium and phosphates. Dermal armor. Dermal bones form a protective armor in ostracoderm and placoderms. The shell of turtles also has its origin from the dermal bones. Its carapace is formed by the fusion of dermal bone with expanded ribs and vertebrae and the plastron represents the fused dermal bones. Functions of integument. Vertebrate integuments have and performs number of different functions and considered it is to be a jack of all trades, its functions include acts as first line of defense against parasitic invasions and pathogenic infections and also protects the internal organs from mechanical injury. The cuticle, keratin and the mucus coat over the integument prevent the loss of water from the body, it helps to maintain body shape and regulate body temperature. They store reserve food materially, glycogen and fat, acts as an organ of excretor, shedding of exoskeleton, which stores waste materials removed in amphibian and a few fish species, skin acts as a respiratory surface.